Tim, welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Panerai Radio Mirror 1940 3 days PAM 655. You can see this SIHH 2016 new model debut with micro rotor automatic and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during the video to see our full commercial listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images and naturally full pricing details for this PAM 655. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the best way to describe the PAM 655 is the Panerai for the guy who wants a dress reference to complement his Bomba, to complement his 305, to complement some ungainly monster like a PAM 300 or a 341. And the nice thing about this watch is it's also the Panerai for the guy who never thought he'd be into Panerai. The guy who collects thin, traditional round case, Jezur Le Coult, Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars line, and of course Vacheron Constantin, Traditionnel, and patrimony. Now the nice thing about this timepiece is at 42 millimeters across the case from 3 to 9 not including the crown it's a very manageable size. From lug to lug likewise manageable below the 50 millimeter mark that's often considered the cutoff for a more traditionally sized timepiece. Beyond that we start talking about oversized cases. Here we talk about a nice Classical Panerai look, but with proportions, especially in profile, with only 11.5 millimeters of thickness that will work well with formal attire. A little bit more versatile than a giant dive watch, especially something like a PAM 24 or 25, any of the submersible families. This one is simply handsome. It's also quite a bit different than what you would expect from Panerai, featuring the black on white with simulated aged patina loom. and. The watch has all of a polished finish with the sensuous 1940 case punctuated by the straight lugs that came into use during the later phase of what was then known as the 6154 case style in the late 40s, early 50s. This is a bit of a departure from the wire lug origins of the Panerai models, the classic military Panerai models, but before the arrival of the model that would ultimately become known as the Luminor under another sky and in another age without the crown guard. So in a lot of ways, this is sort of like a Luminor 1950 case without the crown guard. So sensuous compound curves, handsome, with nicely chiseled lines, giving it just enough masculinity that it stands out as a sports watch true to its heritage. Now it features an assolutamente minimally treated calfskin strap. Again, historic in inflection, it features a lightly contrasting acru stitch that matches the simulated aged radium superluminova on the dial. And it's paired with an easily adjusted but more discreet pin buckle. This is not the oversized trapezoid that Panerai conventionally equips. This one is better better suited to the versatile role of the 655. And it is versatile. Again, this is about as close as Panerai gets to making a formal reference. Now, not part of the Luminor Due family. Nevertheless, it's in that league, a timepiece that really is more elegant, refined, upscale, and almost as if a conventional Panerai went to finishing school. That's the feel you get. But it has all of the functionality you expect with superb dial contrast. You can see the blackened hands and the black on white printing make for very easy readability. And although it's not the torch of a conventional Panerai Luminor or Radiomir, nevertheless, there is plenty of loom for superb low and no light visibility. And part of the reason this watch works so well with the tight sleeve or dress cuff is the movement. Exceptionally thin, this is the Panerai Caliber P4000, Panerai's first ever micro rotor caliber family. It features 31 jewels and twin mainspring barrels, not as we're used to seeing them in the Panerai family. You can't quite see underneath the barrel bridge, but these are stacked barrels a la Chopard LUC. Very nicely done, and with a micro rotor in the same plane as the rest of the movement, it doesn't cover the display. In other words, you can see the entirety of the movement without obstruction. And of course, because the rotor is countersunk into the movement, it allows that thin profile. Moreover, you can see a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance. So it's very much a sports watch caliber, thanks to the resilience to shock that you get from that architecture. It also features three days of power reserve, thanks to the stacked barrels with a modern four hertz beat rate. This is a sophisticated movement, like the watch itself, equal measures rugged and sophisticated, refined, but also built as a sports watch at heart. This is a watch that you can wear 
in the water with 100 meter water resistance, this is absolutely a timepiece you can pair with a textile Panerai or aftermarket Panerai strap and take shallow diving, take out on the jet ski, jump into the pool. So while the watch goes well with a business suit, it's equally apropos with a bathing suit. You can see and you can purchase this Panerai Rodumere 1943 days PAM 655 on our website.